All right, fellas, today we're going to get into it because we're talking about how to last longer in bed, how to come when um, you want to. And this is just a part one of a series because, uh, yeah, I get this question a lot. This is the number two question that I get. It's about to go down. And so today we're going to walk down a set of tips that you can use immediately in order to get better in bed in terms of being able to last as long as you want. And hey, my name is Brian, a.k.a. Uncle B. For the last 22 years, I've been a men's performance coach with African Fly, the liquid aphrodisiac. And today we're going to talk specifically about how your chemistry set works and what you actually masturbate to and how you breathe can make a huge difference in bed. And we're also going to get into the psychological side of things, what you actually need to be thinking about when you're making love. And if you stay tuned till the end, I will be talking about the Erections On Demand three day challenges coming up soon. You want to be a part of that because I'm going to talk about this subject super deep. We're going to dive in and you can ask me questions. And I have to give a shout out to my pops. I mean, you know, made it to 80. Yes, indeed. What's going on, sir? I really do appreciate you. And uh, yeah, my family, you know, they ain't seen me in a while. They ain't realize your uncle slimmed down. I mean, the double XL. I mean, come on now. I'm a little bit better now. A little bit. And of course, if you like what you hear, go ahead hit that like button, that subscribe button, and notification bell so we can get some more of this information to you. And what I'm going to do, yes, indeed, break this down till it cannot be broken anymore. Now guys, I want to tell you up front, as a sexual performance coach, if you do not have a plan, an understanding of what you need to do to get to the next level, it's not going to work. You're not going to be able to last longer in bed if you're just doing whatever. And I know it is like, a, I'm, I'm older, man. I've gone through this process where you, you know, you experience some times where it's just not, just last, not lasting long. What's going on? I've been through that embarrassment, had those conversations, and um, yeah, I'm not going through that anymore. <laughs> now that I know exactly what to do, and I'm giving you that information, part of that information right now. And yes, I've seen this work for guys who are in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. This process can work for you. You can check out the comment sections for my over 300 videos to see guys are saying, yes, I, this actually stuff, this stuff actually does work. And of course, if you're one of my $3,000 coaching clients, yeah, yeah, it's definitely going to work for you. We want to make sure that's what we do around here. So let's get into it. What do you need to do to last longer in bed? The first thing you need to understand is your testosterone. Let's straight, get straight to the chemical. The bursting and burning of testosterone is what fuels an erection. So how do you last longer? Yeah, you need more testosterone. How do you get that? Well, one, you can take African fly. <laughs> that's what it does. It increases your testosterone and your blood flow. But that's the reason why guys take African fly to go work out because it helps with your lifting. It helps with your running. It gives you the stamina you need to last longer. And also you can do lower body workouts. When you do lower body workouts, we're talking about squats, deadlifts, you actually increase your testosterone more than if you're doing just upper body workouts, bigger muscles down there. And of course, HIIT workouts also work. We're talking about high intensity interval training. I did several videos on that. <laughs> now here's something that most guys don't think about. Uh, masturbation is practice. You can practice that. You want to masturbate and not ejaculate. It's actually called sperm retention. But <laughs> You want to masturbate but not ejaculate. And this is highly important. Do not masturbate to porn. Do not masturbate to porn. Fantasize about her. I'll talk about why in a second. Porn? What's, oh, pornography? And really the whole process of masturbation, they call it edging. You want to get to the point where you're about to ejaculate and back off. You're trying to figure out where your threshold is and you need to be fantasizing about her. So it, you're practicing because basically when it comes down to it, four stages of an erection, the fourth stage is when ejaculation is imminent. You want to sit there in that third stage. You want to play around with that fourth stage, back off, back off till you understand how you feel so you can control it. And of course, an important thing to do is to pay attention to your breathing. I've done videos on breathing also because it's so important. When you do not breathe correctly, your body gets tense. Of course, it is because you're not breathing correctly. So uh, if you're not breathing correctly, your cortisol levels are going up. What's happening when your cortisol levels are going up? Blood is going to your muscles and to your brain. It's not going to your digestive system, which your penis is attached to. So you could be literally stressing yourself out, which 
your body's like, okay, well, let's just get this over with. You don't have control of yourself. Breathe. You can also do breathing exercises beforehand. And one of the things you want to do, of course, along with that breathing is just relax. You need to be relaxed, release the tension. Just, you know, if you're constantly thinking about yourself, doing this process, it's called spectatoring. If you're constantly thinking about yourself when you're supposed to be thinking about her and the pleasure you two will be having, you're, you're taking yourself out of the game. You are literally making yourself self-conscious. Hmm, not a good look. And now an important thing about how you think while making love, you wanna be into her, not just physically. You wanna be into her. You wanna think about her during the day, fantasize about her during the day like I was talking about early is really important because you need to be connected when you're connected you have more control of yourself you really need to focus on enjoying and pleasuring her that takes the stress off of you now you're not worrying about yourself you're worrying about hey how's she doing how's she feeling and that goes into something you need to be doing before getting into the sex part, you need foreplay. Foreplay is for men. Say this all the time, and it's true because think about it. You go to work. Is there anything sexy going on, going on at work? You know, you at the law firm, the hospital, wherever you're working, construction site, it doesn't matter. It's not like you're in high school or college when you have women all around you all the time who are just like you and ready to get some in. No, you're in a different situation. So you're not getting turned on on the way home and then all of a sudden you get home and all of a sudden you're just supposed to, no, that doesn't work. Foreplay is gonna help you increase your testosterone which is gonna help increase your stamina. Go for it. So of course the question is, how long does all of this take? You, you get the information, you got the techniques, how long does it take to get to that part where you have that control? It actually just depends on you. And when I talk about erections on demand, we're talking about the entire process of what you need to do with your body, not just the techniques I talked about, but in terms of how you're working out, what are you, what, what are you consuming? How much energy do you have? Are you getting a, enough sleep so your, your cortisol levels are already starting out low? Your testosterone levels are already starting out high. You need to have all of this in combination for the techniques to work. I gave you the techniques, you just need the plan to accelerate it. One guy I coached, hey, what's going on, Bill? My man is 28 years old and, oh man, this dude actually, I'm jealous. I'm just a jealous guy. I'm jealous. He's 28 years old, he's already at eight and he's been listening to all my videos so he knows all the different techniques. He was telling me about taking African fly, putting it in the beet juice and Tangat Ali and taking CMOS. I was talking to him about the breathing technique and he was like, oh, oh yeah, I know. You mean the 5 20 10 technique? He's like, yeah, my man knows all this stuff. He just has a couple of things he needs to change up and he's gonna be all good, which is really pissing me off. <laughs> because no one was telling me this when I was 28. Man, do you know how much more fun and a lot less stress I would have had in my life? Ooh. So I got a question for you. What does success look like for you in this area? What does it look like? Is it you and your girl lasting for a good long period of time? Think about that. From a survey I did for the guys that I coach, you know a good 40% of guys have had <sighs> erection issues for a few years. A good 20% had for a decade or more. 27% uh, is like I just started showing up. It's best to know this information right now. Just letting you know you can get the results you want. I've got your back. <laughs> the information I have, it's got your back. You know, really it comes down to our Western culture when it comes to the food, the stress, everything that's going on, it's all plotted against you. My heart it hurts. But I'm telling you right now, it's not your fault. You didn't know. You're getting the information. Now you have the information. Get to work. So really the question is, what is stopping you from, from you from getting to the goal, from getting to the results that you want? I mean, if you're really down to get your confidence back, to get your swag back, to get all of that stuff working for you, get your morning erections, be able to last as long as you want to, it can be done. You can either keep doing what you're doing or you can come join me at the Erections On Demand three day live challenge. That's coming up. All you have to do is just check out the link below, sign up, you'll get the information and the details. I mean, we're gonna go into it. All of this information, is, I got 300 videos. We're gonna, I wanna answer your questions. So make sure you sign up for it and you can get on that three day live challenge. So make sure you click that link below 
show up with pen and pad. We're going to get into it. You can ask me questions because here's the thing, guys. If you don't have a plan, you are planning to fail. I'm not the first person who told you that. This is Uncle B saying, get your game up and go hard. Peace out.